डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैं सब गंगाधर सोम के एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द एम सी जेम्स वर्चुअल क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड जियोग्राफी विल बी लर्निंग द टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू इकोनॉमिक्स एंड एज इट इज देयर इन द टाइटल ऑफ द टॉपिक दिस इज जस्ट एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू इकोनॉमिक्स वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द इकोनॉमिक्स बट द basic things of economics it may include the definition of economics types of economy factors affecting an economy and at the same time we are going to discuss about the functions of an economy so here in our textbook this chart is given and in this chart you can see this chart is all about the expenditure of a person of particular month daily food estimated expenditure on daily food 6000 buying two sets of uniform that is 2000 school stationery 500 medical expenditure Four hundred and fifty rupees recreation five hundred rupees mobile bill thousand rupees one thousand vegetables fruits and etc. One thousand rupees public transport now it may include bus railway rickshaw or anything else so for this two thousand and six hundred rupees electricity bill one thousand and five hundred tourism four thousand and bank installments 3000 rupees so all together we have a figure of 22550 rupees 22550 rupees is the total number now what is given in our textbook about this suppose this is your expenditure this month and your monthly income is 20000 Your monthly income is twenty thousand. To strike a balance between your income and your expenditure, what will be your preferences for expenditure? Now here, general idea about this. आपका महीने का इनकम जो है वो ये है बीस हजार और आपका खर्चा जो जा रहा है वो बावीस हजार पांच सौ पचास रुपए. तो अगर हम इसको माइनस करेंगे तो two thousand and five hundred रुपीज जो है एक्स्ट्रा अदर देन इनकम खर्च करने पड़ रहे सो इज देर एनीथिंग विच यू कैन कट ऑफ फ्रॉम द लिस्ट और एटलीस्ट यू कैन मिनिमाइज द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू सी एंड अकॉर्डिंगली री राइट द टेबल एंड राइट डाउन योर प्रेफरेंसेस एंड डिस्कस इट विथ योर family members or with your friends now after discussing this one thing which we understand that the management of individual or family finance is mainly related to income and expenses or expenditure that is economic factors and this led to the birth of economics what led to the birth of economics income and expenditure or income or expenses hum kitna paisa kama rahe hain aur kitna paisa kharch kar rahe hain ye economics se related cheez hai ya fir isi se hamare economics ka janm hota hai you can also ask this to your parents to your mom or to your father that how they manage the expenditure of the family the word if we go in detail now about the word economics the word economics which comes from the greek word oikonomia which means family management so directly or indirectly the meaning of the economics is nothing but the family management there is a lot of similarity 
between family management and economics ghar par agar agar hamari mummy agar hamare papa puri family ko manage kar rahe accordingly income and expenditure according to expenditure and income to wo economics ek tarah se kya kar rahe इकोनॉमिक्स घर का चला रहा है इकोनॉमी घर की चला रहा है बिकॉज इट इज गिवन इन आवर टेक्स बुक दैट देर इज लॉट ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन फैमिली मैनेजमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिक्स तो बहुत बार ऐसा होता है देखो हमारी मम्मी चाहे पढ़ी लिखी हो या ना हो पर वो घर चलाने का काम करती है पापा उन्हें जितने पैसे देते हैं उसमें वो घर चलाती है इट मीन्स दैट सी नोज इकोनॉमिक्स वो स्कूल में नहीं गई पर उसे इकोनॉमिक्स पता है so we understand from economics how to use time how to use money how to use labor and land effectively here this word effectively is very important in economics we use time effectively in economics we use money effectively in economics we use labor effectively and also in economics we use land effectively then only will be in profit nahi to kya ho jayega loss ho jayega so whenever we are talking about economics it is very important to use resources effectively then only one can get profit how to satisfy how to satisfy the infinite needs of the people using various resources now number of needs are there and to fulfill these needs we use resources so this is what to fulfill or to satisfy the infinite needs of the people using various resources is the study matter of economics what do we study in economics we study in economics how to satisfy the infinite needs of the people using various resources that is what is the study matter of economics okay now the definition of economics according to lionel robbins economics is a science economics is a science which studies human behavior which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses now if it is like is a science which studies human behavior to ye psychology ho jayega but it is related with the economy it is related with the needs it is related with the money that is why it is economics so economics is a science which studies human behavior which studies human behavior as a relationship between relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses this is what is economics according to lionel robbins in detail as we manage the finances of our family who manages the finances of our family our parents as we manage the finances of our family similarly villages cities states countries and world also need to have economic management which one is very important thing you people already learnt in the civics of 6th standard of 7th standard of 8th standard about the panchayat raj system at village we have gram panchayat then panchayat samiti then nagar panchayat then municipal corporation or corporation at state level we have state government and in country we have central government like that at the international level we have world bank we can say so it is very important like family management or how we manage the finances of our family villages cities states 
countries and world also need to have economic management. विलेज का अपना एक इकोनॉमिक मैनेजमेंट होता है सिटीज का अपना एक मैनेजमेंट होता है स्टेट्स का सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का और फिर पूरी दुनिया का मिलकर एक इकोनॉमिक मैनेजमेंट होता है जिससे हम लोग एक साथ मिलकर आगे 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 चलते हैं इकोनॉमिकली स्ट्रांग होने की तरफ सो इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट टू मेक स्ट्रांग नेशन और टू बिल्ड अ स्ट्रांग नेशन इकोनॉमिकली geographically speaking the enterprises related to the production enterprises related to the production distribution and consumption of goods and services in a specific region is called economy it's called economy geographically speaking the enterprises related to the production any kind of production फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ मेनी स्टेप्स दैट विल सी एक तो किसी भी एक चीज का प्रोडक्शन हुआ देन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग प्रोडक्शन देन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड थर्ड स्टेप कंजम्पन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस नॉट ओनली गुड्स बट ऑल्सो सर्विसेस लाइक हॉस्पिटेलिटी और एजुकेशन दीज आर नाउ सर्विसेस Here, production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services in a specific region is called an economy. If we talk about our country and in the services, then teaching or education or hospitality, like health service. So health service ka production, uska distribution and uska consumption by the people or the citizen of that particular country. is included in the economy of that country now there are on global level there are three types of economies capitalist economy socialist economy and mixed economy that is capitalism socialism and mixed type of economy which is neither capitalistic or which is no socialistic which is middle path of capitalistic and socialistic economy to understand this in detail there is one chart given in our textbook so that we can comparatively study the difference between the capitalistic economy socialistic economy and mixed economy one by one now we'll study in capitalistic economy ownership and management of means of production is in the hands of private individuals ye kisi ek vyakti ke company hoti hai wahan par ownership bhi uski hai wahan par management bhi usi ka hai main aim is to earn maximum profit in capitalistic economy main aim is to earn maximum profit and the examples Germany, Japan, the USA have adopted such type of economy, capitalistic economy. Now, what is socialistic economy? The means of production belong to the society, not not of any one person or individual. The means of production belong to the society as a whole, puri ki puri society. That is the government's control. and its main aim is to achieve social welfare for example china and russia have adopted socialistic type of economy now the third one mixed economy this is what is coexistence of private and public sectors dono hai yahan par private bhi hai aur public sector bhi hai a balance between profit and social welfare is made in the mixed type of economy it is in india sweden the uk mixed economy so the basic things or the basic points about capitalistic economy socialistic economy and mixed economy if 
we have to remember this or if we have to learn this we can just go for the keywords in capitalistic there is private individual and maximum profit in socialistic economy government's control social welfare is the main aim or objective in mixed economy both private and public sector and its aim is to balance between profit and social welfare now the next thing factors affecting an economy in this the first one geographical area and natural resources which affect an economy it is very important that the how natural resources are there in any particular geographical area or in any particular country agar koi country natural resources se bharpoor hai wahan par bahut sare natural resources hai to economy mein uska asar hota hai positively then the political coordination then occupations population very important thing these are the factors which affect an economy now if we people talk about our country especially considering these two points occupations and population number of people in our country or we can say the percentage of population in our country directly dependent on the एग्रीकल्चर ज्यादा से ज्यादा ऑक्यूपेशन जो है हमारे कंट्री में एग्रीकल्चर का है एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी हैव ह्यूज पॉपुलेशन इससे क्या होता है हमारी इकोनॉमी पे स्ट्रेस आ जाता है और इकोनॉमी की जो स्पीड है वो धीमी 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 चलती है दैट यू विल स्टडी इन डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट थिंग्स ऑफ इकोनॉमी बट हेयर वन थिंग which is very important to understand that how occupations or population or political sovereignty or geographical area and natural resources affect economy if natural resources are less and the population is high try to understand if the natural resources are less and population is high to dono mein balance karne mein economy ki gadbad ho jati hai so it is very important to use natural resources accordingly and that is what we people study in economics now the next thing about economics economics is an important social subject we use economics on a large scale in agriculture trade finance administration law and in our daily life because it is part of our daily life aisa nahi hai ki economics padhna hi chahiye right by managing our income and expenditure we know economics is the basic thing economics holds a paramount importance in the social development of humans when we talk about the economics this man who wrote the book the wealth of nations adam smith which is known as the father of economics adam smith who is known as the father of economics and in his book wealth of nations which was published in 1776 he has defined economics as the science of wealth very simple definition economics is nothing but the science of wealth science of wealth the subject you need we deal or study about wealth is economics globalization of the economy is the next point the recent economic policies are taking the economy towards globalization one world the recent economic policies are taking the economy towards globalization which means building a world economy building a world economy 
world economy is a borderless is a borderless economy in which there is no any kind of borders of countries in which natural resources profit services capital labor and technology flow freely across borders of countries c o u u is there freely across borders of countries now if you people started any company and you can sell your product anywhere in the world अपनी शुरुआत की है किसी कंपनी की तो आप अपना प्रोडक्ट दुनिया में कहीं भी बेच सकते हैं वहां से आपको प्रॉफिट आएगा या फिर कहीं की सर्विस भी आप यहां पर ले सकते हैं लाइक फॉरेन एजुकेशन और फॉरेन ट्रीटमेंट सो दीज आर द थिंग्स व्हिच आर इंक्लूडेड इन द ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी ग्लोबलाइजेशन मींस ग्लोबलाइजेशन मींस अलाइनिंग द कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी aligning the country's economy with the world economy there is free trade and all restrictions on investments are set aside in the globalization of the economy no restriction or no any kind of burden or the rules or the laws on the free trade now next point about the economics that the functions of an economy deciding the product and quantity of its production like every country has a different economy just now we talked about that capitalist economy socialist economy and mixed economy the main functions of economy are similar whether it is capitalist or socialist or mixed lekin uske jo फंक्शंस है वो हर जगह पे सेम है एंड इट इंक्लूड्स डिसाइडिंग द प्रोडक्ट एंड क्वांटिटी ऑफ इट्स प्रोडक्शन देन मिनिमाइज द प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट एवरीवेयर दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एज मच एज पॉसिबल मिनिमाइज द प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो दैट पीपल कैन बाय इजीली distribution of national income according to social and economic justice we should be far away from the economic exploitation or which will help in reducing the poverty of the country so the main function of the economy is to maintain or to distribute national income according to social and economic justice next in this making appropriate provisions for the economic needs of the future deciding for whom the goods will be produced deciding for whom the goods will produce it means that to decide the target कस्टमर कोई प्रोडक्ट जब बन रहा है तो वो किसके लिए बन रहा है दैट इज वॉट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन इकोनॉमिक्स टू डिसाइड दस एंड इकोनॉमी स्ट्राइव टू क्रिएट अ बैलेंस बिटवीन लिमिटेड रिसोर्सिस एंड अनलिमिटेड नीड्स नाउ अगेन दिस थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द वर्ल्ड वी हैव लिमिटेड रिसोर्सिस बट एट द सेम टाइम we have unlimited needs kuch bhi hamare paas hai hame aur chahiye hota hai ya fir koi cheez hame chahiye to hame usse aur achhi cheez ho jati hai chahiye hoti hai that is what is unlimited need human needs are unlimited but to fulfill these needs sources are limited and in economics we talk about the limited sources and unlimited needs or we study how to balance in between the limited sources and unlimited needs so in today's topic we people discussed about the concept of economics how it is directly related with the family management then the types of economy in that capitalistic economy 
socialistic economy, mixed economy, then the Adam Smith, who is known as the father of economics and his book, Wealth of Nations, in which he defined economics very simple way, in a simple way that the science of wealth is economics. Then the concept of globalization of the economy. And at last, we discussed about the functions of an economy. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications. So my dear ones, this is all for today. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe, take care.